What's up, Legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're here in Modern Warfare Zombies, and we are doing the one box challenge once again. Now, it's been a little bit since I did it, at least a couple of weeks. So I wanted to bring this one back in Season 4 Reloaded, as well as I'm going to be doing some of the other challenges again in the near future as well. We're going to be mixing things up. We might even do a couple other older Call of Duty you know, zombies videos on the channel as well. Between now and obviously BO6, we have season five reloaded to look forward to. But essentially, yes, today we're doing a one box challenge once again. So I'm going to head over to the mystery box here as we do have the essence required. We do not have anything in our backpack to help us along this journey. And our hopes is that we will make it into the high threat zone by the end of this match, at least to complete a bounty over there in tier three. Now, it obviously does depend a little bit on what weapon we get how difficult the challenge is going to be. And there is some key elements along the way, like getting a better than rare tool that could really, you know, kind of make things a little bit more challenging as well. So RNG is definitely a huge factor here in this journey, but it really does kind of depend on what weapon we get. All right, we made it over here to the mystery box. We're going to hit it one time. Whatever weapon we get out of it is what we're using for the entirety of the match. So hopefully we get something good. I'm feeling a little bit lucky, but you never know. We might get something absolutely terrible as well. It has happened to me multiple times. What did we get? What is this? A Cronin Squall. I'm going to be honest, this is not great. This is not great at all, but we're going to get it. We're going to go ahead and head over to our first contract, and we're going to start making things happen here. The other problem is we did end up getting a green, which means we will need to get a rare tool at some point, and hopefully we can get our hands on one of those because it will absolutely make this journey significantly easier. We can definitely hit up some things that could harvest us a tool. If I see any harvester orbs, I'm definitely going to be shooting those down. Fingers crossed we get some things to upgrade this weapon. Because I already know that this weapon is not ideal. It's not going to do a lot of damage. And it's definitely going to put us in some tricky situations if we if we can't get things upgraded fairly, fairly soon. All right, we got ourselves a mangler. Now, the pack-a-punch machine is here. And I could choose to pack-a-punch right now since I do have my containment level. But what I want to do, oh my god, a 20 round mag is just not good. This is going to be rough. I can tell you that right now. We get this guy, take him out, take him out. I guess it is doing a little bit of damage. What? Don't want to pick up that. Go and reload. Yes. We want to take you down, bro. We're doing like no damage and I got to reload. Oh my god, this is terrible. And a reload is so slow. I might actually have to pack a punch. I wish I could move a little quicker. How is he hitting me like that? That's actually crazy. Dude, I am so slow when I reload. It's insane. Okay, reloading again. 20, 20 round mag has got to be the worst thing that could ever happen. Oh no, it's a tier two. Bro, I can't take you down. Why's it gotta be a tier two? Oh, there's more of them. This is, this is pain. All right, well, lucky us, we have the containment level. I'm gonna go ahead and just pack a punch because this is, it's doom. This is doom. Let me see if I can get around. Now we have a 40 rounder, it's still not gonna be ideal. Bro, are we doing damage? Oh yeah, we're doing a little bit. All right, we got him. Man. I knew this was going to be bad. I wasn't thinking it was going to be this bad. And a green tool, which we don't need because we're already, you know, already green. Let's we'll see how many green tools we get in this match. Now that I'm mentioning that as an issue, might not get as many but it definitely ends up being an issue for me most of the time. All right, we gotta take this opportunity. There's a harvester orb, we're gonna shoot it. We need a blue tool. Anytime I see these, I'm gonna shoot it because I've had some crazy luck. I've even gotten purple tool upgrades by shooting them in the tier two zone. Even in these, and most of the time I get green tools, which green tool gang, by the way, as always, we get many, many, many green tools in our runs, no matter where we complete contracts or where we look for stuff. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy taken down. Yes, zombies. The more I ignore you, the more you guys team up. Just want a harvester orb to go down. Come on, man. There we go. 
What do we get? It's gonna be a green. There's no way it's no way it's blue, right? Oh my god. The planets aligned. See? This is why you do it. You could shoot three in a row, get all greens. Fourth one could be blue. Shoot the first one. Could also be blue. Watch. The next thing that'll happen is we'll see one in the tier two zone when we get over there. And it's gonna end up dropping us a purple or even a legendary. That'd be just insane. Alright, we got a mimic. At least now we have the, the rare tool knocked out. That's kind of big. Come on down, buddy. Gotta reload. I definitely try to make sure to reload before I run completely out of bullets with this gun. Because it is slow. Like, I can't even slide. Let me slide, man. There's just everywhere I go, there's zombies. I'm trying to get to freedom. There we go. We're good. Let me get to freedom, man. I'll pack one crystal, of course. I mean, there's no way with this weapon we could have... I mean, I guess we could have. I can't say there's no way. We could have not gotten Pack-A-Punch, but it would have been ridiculous not to do it. That's a another Tier 1 Harvester Orb, so we're going to ignore that one this time because it doesn't have a super high chance of giving me a above a rare tool. But if we see one in, in, in the Tier 2 zone, we're going to definitely hit it up. All right, we almost have enough to Pack-A-Punch to level 2, but this is definitely one of those weapons that will need Pack 2 in order to be able to do a contract, I think as far as a bounty is concerned, at least, in the Tier 2 zone. I mean, we didn't even cook that Mimic all that quickly, and we are Pack 1 Blue. And I feel like that's about as slow as it is sometimes with other weapons with Pack 1 Blue in the Tier 2 zone. So, I guess we'll check it out once again here with the Mangler, but I don't think it's cooking through these bounties all that fast, so I think we're requiring it go to Pack 2. Before we actually make our way into tier 2 makes a little bit of sense. Not always the case, depending on the weapon, but we also don't have dead shot currently. Kind of holds us back a little bit. I mean, I guess we're doing decent damage. We still do it in a mag, but it's kind of rough. Wow. Another green tool. How do we get so lucky? Alright, I think I'm going to take the quad. We should either have enough or be close enough to having enough to go ahead and pack a punch to level two. So let's go ahead and hit up to Kaibi's tower here. Maybe we'll even find some goodies up there and we will pack a punch level two. All right, pack a punch level two, W. Now we might actually be able to eliminate some opponents here. You also have to be very careful. We don't have a single perk. None of our rewards so far have had a perk in them, which is kind of disappointing. There is a lot of zombies over here. This reload thing is crazy. Get rid of the Hellhound. Oh, man. I'm going to definitely loot around here really quickly just to see if we find any good loot. Then we can head on to another contract. But I feel like I'd be doing myself a disservice if I didn't look for anything in this area because we could get some free perks or something else that could benefit us. All right, well, we don't have any perks, and I need Essence as quickly as possible, and there's not really a bounty contract I can get access to. Oh, well, look at that. There's a rare tool there. Let's see if I can hit this. Let's go ahead and do this quick deliver cargo just to keep things moving. And then hopefully after that, we'll be able to knock something else out. I do need some perks. There's not even perks I want to get nearby to purchase. Every time I've looked what perks close by, it's always tombstone. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Clear this guy out. Let's grab our vehicle. And let's just deliver it real quick. Hopefully we get a free perk out of this. That's one of the worst things sometimes when you do these. Completing contracts, you're not getting too many rewards that are actually beneficial to you. All right, we got Death Perception. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I guess it's a perk. I asked for free perks. There's one, right? Ask and you shall receive. Too bad it's not. It's like one you could go the whole match without. It's not one that's super beneficial, but whatever. I think I did see a bounty that popped up over here. Let's see if I can make it over there. There's two bounties now. We can start making some progress. We really, really need perks. Like, I can't emphasize enough. Without Jug, getting a hit is going to be rough. I mean, good thing is we still have plenty of time to be successful here. Bad news is we still need a lot of luck in our favor. Even though we got the rare tool, the weapon's still not super strong. Pack 2 Blue has definitely been stronger with many other weapons. Don't be a disciple. Don't be a disciple. Don't be a disciple. Oh, my God. It is a disciple. Of course it is. Make sure I actually 
I should have pretty close to full ammo. Let's make sure we actually have full ammo. Get rid of these guys. Jump in our vehicle and we'll head over there. Hopefully we can do this. All right, here we go, disciple. All right, well, good news. One fear has been conquered. We are able to break the ability. What's that? Full power. Where are these hellhounds spawning from? Man, I'm just trying to fight our guy here, bro. Oh, now a mangler? Bro, I don't have perks for this. Like I said, I don't have perks for this. Why does everybody want to fight? Trying to reload. Oh my god. The reload is so slow. Oh, he keeps teleporting. Oh, cool. Fence can't block me from damage from the, the mangler. Gotta get rid of the mangler. Oh my god, this has got to be some of the worst fights I've ever been a part of. Dude just keeps spawning in more dudes. Okay, everybody over there. Get out of my way. Good god, this weapon sucks. Like, it's so bad. Everybody go down. Okay, that helps a little bit. Throw this again. I need to get my energy mine back if I can. Okay, hopefully that damage is enough of them. Oh my god. No! This reload is so bad! Bro, I gotta, I gotta be able to get through more than three zombies without reloading. And there's nowhere to go for me to get protection from this dude. Alright, now we're in a better spot. I am just burning through ammo, though. My god. Nope. Not doing that crap here, bro. Now he's trying to trade me spots. Not happening. Where's all this ammo at? Is there ammo over here? This is the fight of the lifetime, bro. Nope. I know what you're trying to do. I'm not letting it happen. Like, we're just not doing enough damage to this guy. Oh my god, they're so fast. The reloads. It's like one zombie reload. Come on. This game is trolling me. We almost have an energy mine. We're almost there. The struggle's almost better. Okay, at least we saved our reload time for that. Yep, everybody's going to hit me all at once. Everybody's going down together, too. You ride together, you die together. Come on. Oh my god, we're so close, and this dude's gonna heal because I gotta reload again. I just wanna finish this dude off. We don't even have anything else to lose here. Okay, yeah, come on. Like, having to be kind of strategic with this is crazy. There we go. Dude. My god. Of course, we get a dead wire, which would have been useful for that specific disciple. After the fact. No attach- or not a no attachment. No perks besides this death perception. Sheesh. This is a tough experience. I knew I kind of predicted it correctly, though. This weapon... I've definitely had easier experiences with even in a disciple fight with a pack one blue than I did just now with this thing being pack two blue. And that's kind of insane. All right, we got to mimic this time. I guess we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's better than what we just experienced. I don't have any backup plates though, do I? So that might also be bad. I'm getting this. I am getting dead shot. Even if it sets me back from pack three, it sets me back from pack three. 
I mean, we're not on the road to, to success right now, so some big things got to happen. This is this has been a rough experience, but now at least we have one perk that's going to benefit us in the damage department because holy smokes, we're, we are living in a reload simulator as we saw with the last disciple fight. All right, I do need to try to grab some plates real quick, hopefully. Oh, that's perfect. Well, there's not, that's not backup plates, but helps. Gonna be a lot of zombies. Is our dude out here? Yep, dude's out here too. So that over there. Should rile up the, the crew real quick. Oh my God, this thing is doing negative damage. I'm gonna have to, I gotta get this energy mine. Oh my God. This is all bad. I mean, we are doing damage, but not a good amount. Like a very bad amount. Like less below average damage. For sure. Holy smokes, how did I dodge that? Probably something, some kind of luck. Okay, we got through that. That's a W. It took damage there. Got to reload for the 76th time. Not going to be able to, oh, nice. I don't know if any, any of these zombies dropped plates. Yes, they did. Need to put one plate on. Good lord, this is all strategy. Gotta reload, but we also gotta get away. Reload now. Orb's coming. We dodged it again. Okay. We gotta reload again. It's probably not ideal. I already knew it wouldn't be ideal. Don't take damage. Okay, we gotta use one plate. Oh! <gasps> Couldn't dodge at that time. All right, got rid of that guy. I think we should be able to get this. Holy, the whole, it's a whole plan and execution you got to go through with this, this weapon because it's so bad. Oh, that's huge. That is actually huge. What was the other thing? I think it was a streak. I didn't even get a chance to look. Uh, let me try to drive by. There we go. Yep. Was it was a precision. Oh, righty. This is a a journey and a half. All right, we do have enough to go pack three. Is there a harvester orb over here? I didn't see one. Okay, I got rid of that guy. Holy smokes, we're getting attacked by everyone. Come on. Dude, this is crazy town. Some of these weapons are just so much worse to use now. I think the, the changes to the zombies Definitely makes this challenge more difficult because of some of these weapons like this one I mean, I have no control over the attachments, right? We're doing one box. We get what we get I have no way to, to change the attachments, but it is crazy when you just especially some of the weapons that require certain attachments How hard this can actually be Okay, so let's see if we got any other Bounties. There is some up north on the northern part. I need to complete, I would say, at least one more contract. I need to get some perks. So even if we have to purchase pack three, which we're going to have to, I don't think this thing's going to be strong enough. I really don't. I hope we can find... Let me see. I hope I can find, like, a harvester orb or something. Let me drive in this direction. All right, unluckily for me, we got a mimic. I mean, could be worse, but definitely could be better. We still don't have Jug, which is the scariest thing of this whole whole journey. I don't think I've even been close to a Jug machine, at least not that I noticed. Let's see if we can take out this Mimic real quick. I did see a Harvester Orb on the way over here, but it was in the high threat zone. Kind of near the tower, so maybe I jump up in the tower and see if I can shoot it down. Hoping to get a better a better tool. Well, let's at least knock this part out first. See what we can do. Jump out here. Dude, this is like a whole, of course you snipe me. Is what else would Mimics do? It would help so much, dude. My character is so unbel- Like, look how slow the difference is. Is it because it's an MW2 weapon? Like, let my character move a little bit. Give me some freedom. Crazy town. Yep. I gotta reload real quick. Or I can get a chance to shoot the Mimic. Gotta make sure you're fully reloaded when you try to shoot your- your mimic, you know? Too limited on ammo. Look how slow I am. It's insane. Even with stamina up. Like, like brother. I, I literally, I can't even do an animation 
I can't even swap weapons quick enough. It's crazy. Okay, well, we got hit, but somehow it was at the good timing, so we got our plates back. We're almost there. We're like one more reload away. Reload that one bullet. Still almost got me. Dude, these zombies are so fast. Please. Thank you. Oh. This is such a journey, man. And we got a green tool. What did I say about this? Every day we get nothing but green tools. Savage. It's actually kind of insane. All right, let's go take on this. This Harvester Orb in Tier 3 real quick. And then we can go from there. This, things are going to get very difficult. I mean, our storm's here, which means we're not going to have a lot of time. We definitely need an upgraded tool. Like, there's, there's no way. I guess if I got one of those cheeky spots, just depending on where the the actually the actual bounty was, maybe. But this is looking pretty chalked, if I'm being honest. But we are going to push it to the end. We're still going to put in the most effort that we can. Oh, we actually have a rift. I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna use the rift to get over there. Well, the cool thing is, there's actually double harvester orbs, so I could probably shoot at both of them. See, we'll see how my accuracy is. Boom! Climb up here. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Nice. All right, well, there's a harvester orb down here. I think I might shoot that one first. Yeah, I got a random dude shooting me. I, I know you're here, bro. I I, I see you. I see you up there. Got it again. Unless he's shooting at zombies. Oh, thing disappeared off my screen. All right, it's back again. Wonder if I can shoot it from far enough away where I wouldn't have to worry about it. Oh, he shot at it. I'm gonna get up on this roof, and if I have to run, I have to run. I got. I do have a decoy. We should not have jugs, so we gotta be very cautious of that. Reloading. Okay, we got it. Nice. Please give me a better item than what I already have. Yes, it's at least a purple. Holy smokes. Sometimes you get lucky. I mean, it is what it is. All right, we had a rift up here, but I don't need to use that yet. I'm going to probably climb the tower, jump off the tower to get over to the pack machine. I think, is the perk machine there too? Double, double W. I probably could have just ran over there, but I'd rather fly, reduce the amount of zombies I have. All right, we're going pack three first. Run in here, slide, pack punch level three. We got to move quickly because we have a terrible weapon. Need decoys. We do not have Jug, which we're about to get right now. Holy smokes, this is insane. All right, let's go ahead and throw that down. Wait for it to start working. Wait for it to start working. Okay, we got all the perks, which is huge. Now I don't have any freaking plates left. Everything is chasing me. Ah, uh, run. Just want to grab this freaking bounty. We have five minutes to complete the bounty. Oh my god, bro. Okay, at least we can reload a little bit faster, right? Oh, back up self. Grab that. Go in here. I'm about to go over to the portal. I'm just going to fly. Oh no. Oh no, where is it? Oh. Wait. That's it. That's a W. I think it's a W. I think I think we're saved. I think we can do this. I don't have any plates, but I think we could still do this. It is still possible. I believe I don't need the essence right now. I could get the essence, but I, I'd rather rather get up here. Come on, we can do this. Just gotta believe. I wonder if the triangle is still here. All right, what's in here? There's a couple of plates in there. Another plate there. What the heck? A drill? I haven't seen that in one of the containers in a while. All right, let's see if we can get this dude to come over here. Perfect. You should just stand right there. Oh, there's definitely stuff throwing, getting thrown at me, though. 
Gotta move while we do it. Dude, look how bad this thing is. Come on. Reload again. Come on. We're not even to half health yet. How many times have we reloaded? Like five? Anything is possible. You just have to dream big. And we've dreamed extremely big in this run. I, do, I thought we were toasted. Remember what I said, though? It's not, it's not over till it's over. No matter how it looks. We technically completed our mission. And we didn't use the Easter egg, which sometimes frustrates people. So that's, that's a W. Um, go ahead and get rid of these dudes. Go ahead and reload. Get rid of you, Hellhound. We did everything we set out to do in this run. We went. We conquered... A one box, we got a very not great weapon, and we made it here and made the best of the run. We hit Harvester Orbs to get our, our upgrade up, and we used our knowledge and methods to make it happen. Holy smokes. And the dead wire ended up being a clutch, because that would have been even more insane without it. See, I should let some more zombies come up real quick, then I climb over. And they'll throw stuff, but I can at least, for the most part, deal with them. All right, cool. We got a dead wire guy. Or not a dead wire, a brain rot guy. Bro, we had so many more zombies to come up here. I'm not, I'm not getting hit, bro. It's not happening. You guys want to hit me all you want? Try again. All right, well, where are my extracts? The only thing left for me to do here is literally exfil. I could go to that one, which is close. I'll probably make my way over here even though there's a bunch of people over there. And we'll just get out of here. We succeeded. We got the Cronin Squall, and it wasn't able to take us down. Almost. We almost weren't able to make this happen. I mean, we have a little bit of time left here. Let me double check. I, don't, I didn't see them. Yeah, it looks like the triangles are gone, so we wouldn't have been able to use those anyway, but we didn't even take advantage of those. Or even try to. So, I'm going to head over to the Xville. We succeeded in today's challenge and today's mission. This is one of my favorite challenges easily to do on the channel. Honestly, if you guys would watch these every day, I would make them every day because going into the run, not knowing exactly what I'm going to get or what I'm going to have to work with throughout the run, I think makes it a lot more exciting for not only myself as a player, but you guys as a viewer. All right, we made it over here alive. I even saved this guy who was downed over here by himself. And we made it through the run. I cannot believe that this worked out the way that it did, but it just shows it's clearly never chalked until the end. But that is going to wrap things up for us here. I really do appreciate you guys for all the support on the channel and especially in these videos. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys would like to see in a future video. But I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.